Music production is just like, a, I see it as like a patchwork, isn't it? And it's like how you like make yeah. it all blend and fit. And I will often like try out a sound or a sample in an old track. And if that doesn't work, that will become a new track. So I always say that like tracks that I've made are like babies of other tracks. There's like a Jordan song family tree and they yeah, all come so from nice. like little branches of the same yeah. sort of idea. TMB stands for trans non-binary. So I'm guessing that's what the track will be called. Absolutely, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah. Jam's got an amazing pedal that they use for their vocals. It actually has like a gender knob on it, which I love. It enables you to pitch your voice, and for me that's always made me hear my authentic self. Uh, and so this was really great to share with Jordan. I've been using Abbey Road for mastering for the last couple of years. I'm great, grateful that they have given us the, this space and this opportunity because it, it shows to me that they do want to uh, include more marginalised people and they do want to diversify their offering to artists and they do want to support up and coming artists like myself. Music in a way it has, again, like it's my safe space, it's my home, but when I feel like frustrated or I feel like disempowered, it is my power. If I don't feel good or I'm not in a good place, music is what I do, you know, I will go and I will make a song about it. And a lot of the time I sort of try and make tracks that have, for me, like a certain power and an energy that makes me feel like I have an agency to say something on. Whenever it's like the Pitchfork Fest, always very happy and grateful to be included as a part of their, their lineups. They book a lot of really amazing, incredible artists and it's very varied. I usually say this quite often actually that music has saved my life many times. A lot of the time I've made music and albums that have been like almost like in front of me, ahead of me kind of thing. It's been a way of sort of understanding my identity, definitely as a trans person. Uh, queer and also non-binary. It's how I use my music is it's about that. Using musical platform to support and inspire others is just like, it's, it's a byproduct that I never quite anticipated I was going to have until I started personally transitioning. And then people talking to me about it, I was like, it was an unexpected thing, but it's actually a magical thing. I have a lot of contact with people online from the community that like my music and, have, and use my music to help them as well. And it's just the most rewarding thing in the world to know that it, my music doesn't just help me, but it also empowers other um, trans and queer um, kids as well, like really, Massively. really young, young yeah. kids as well. It's really, really moving. It was a magical merge. <laughs> I feel like all of this has been a magical merge. <laughs> oh now what magical merges. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs>